this week we'll be making a popular Japanese dish that's relatively healthy as well, chicken teriyaki. As per most things Japanese, we'll be using the main three sauces, which will be soy sauce, mirin, and sake. So if you have that on hand, I suggest giving this a shot. So let's get started. To start with prepping our ingredients, I'm going to mince up around four cloves of garlic. I'm also going to take one scallion and cut them into small pieces. The scallions are going to be a garnish and the green color is going to contrast nicely with the dark brown color of the teriyaki. I'm going to use one chicken breast. This is around 12 ounces I would say. You can use however much you want, just remember to cut them into similar bite sized pieces as we don't want to cook them for long. Chicken breast will dry out the longer you cook it, so remember this. Salt your chicken just a bit as most of the salt will come from our soy sake mirror mixture. Give it a good mix. Get a pan on medium heat and add any neutral oil. I use vegetable oil in this case and then we're going to get it nice and hot before we add in our chicken. We're going to sear each side for just a bit until we get some color on it. It should take anywhere from 2-3 to three minutes I would say. Once you see some color on one side, we're going to give it a flip. The color is formed from the Maillard reaction, which will enhance the flavor, so more color equals more flavor. When everything is flipped over, we're going to let it sear again for another 2 minutes before we add in our garlic. Usually we don't add garlic in the beginning, as garlic burns relatively easily. Burnt garlic also is very bitter, which is not a pleasant taste, which is why we usually add it near the end, before we deglaze or add in our sauce. Add in your garlic and cook it for around 1-2 to two minutes so that it becomes fragrant, and then we can add in our sauce right after. For our sauce, we're going to mix together 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of sake, 1 tablespoon of mirin, and 1 tablespoon of sugar. Mix it all together before we place it into our chicken. After adding in our sauce, we're going to mix everything together until everything is well incorporated. You can practice doing the fancy chef flip as this will help mix everything up easier and not a bad excuse to practice, right? Toss and turn the chicken in the sauce for I'd say 1-2 to two minutes until the sauce reduced to the consistency you like. Once finished, top it off with some sesame seeds and garnish the top with your chopped up scallions. There you have it, a nice, quick, simple, and healthy way to cook some chicken breasts. Obviously, you can substitute it for chicken thighs, but I tend to use chicken breasts when I'm eating more healthy on the weekdays. Serve this up with rice and you're basically eating a $10 meal outside for barely any money if you make it yourself, so give it a shot! Hey everyone, thanks for watching my video, and if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and follow my Instagram at WeekendCooks for more cooking content. Thanks for the support, everyone.